In the picturesque town of Happy Hills, nestled amidst rolling hills and lush greenery, there existed a place of boundless joy and excitement, Happy Hills Theme Park. Every day, the park welcomed a diverse array of visitors, from families seeking adventure to thrill-seekers craving excitement. Among the many who called Happy Hills home, Sally Brown stood out. A young woman with dreams as vast as the sky, Sally was a student by day and a dedicated worker at Happy Hills during her holidays. Despite the physical and mental toll of her job, Sally approached each day with unwavering determination and a smile that could brighten even the gloomiest of days. Why do you work so hard, Sally? Her family would often ask. I need the money, she would reply with a grin, though deep down, she knew there was more to it than just financial necessity. Working at Happy Hills was more than just a job to Sally, it was an opportunity to be a part of something magical, something that brought joy to countless people each day. As the sun peeked over the horizon, casting a golden hue over the sprawling theme park, the workers of Happy Hills began to arrive. Clad in their signature uniforms of clean green trousers and sunny yellow shirts, they embodied the spirit of happiness and hospitality that defined Happy Hills. Leading them was Mr. Perry, the park supervisor, whose stern exterior belied a heart of gold. Morning, everyone! Mr. Perry would call out, his voice echoing through the park. Let's make today a day to remember. Each morning, Mr. Perry would gather the workers in the canteen and distribute a list of tasks for the day. From serving refreshments to manning the rides, there was never a dull moment at Happy Hills. Sally, with her eager demeanor and boundless energy, eagerly awaited her assignment, eager to dive into another day of adventure and excitement. But amidst the hustle and bustle of Happy Hills, there was one event that stood out above all others, the visit of Zap the renowned singer and entertainer. News of his impending arrival sent ripples of excitement through the park, with visitors eagerly anticipating the chance to catch a glimpse of their idol. Sally, have you heard? Her friend William exclaimed, his eyes wide with excitement. Zap is coming to Happy Hills. Sally's heart skipped a beat at the mention of Zap's name. She had been a fan of his music for as long as she could remember, with his catchy tunes and infectious energy never failing to lift her spirits. The thought of seeing him in person filled her with a sense of excitement she could scarcely contain. As the day of Zap's visit drew near, Preparations at Happy Hills went into overdrive. The park was abuzz with activity as workers scrambled to ensure that everything was perfect for the superstar's arrival. Banners were hung, stages were set up, and the atmosphere crackled with anticipation. Finally, the moment arrived. With a roar of engines and a flurry of activity, Zap's helicopter descended from the sky, sending a thrill of excitement coursing through the crowd. Sally's heart raced as she caught her first glimpse of the superstar, his megawatt smile lighting up the park like a beacon of hope. Isn't he magnificent? Sally whispered to William her eyes shining with excitement. He's even more incredible in person, William replied, his voice tinged with awe. 
As Sap made his way through the park, greeting fans and posing for photos, Sally found herself swept up in the excitement of the moment. She watched in awe as he interacted with visitors, his easy charm and infectious enthusiasm winning over even the most skeptical of onlookers. But amidst the chaos and excitement, tragedy struck. In the midst of the festivities, Zapp's prized CD went missing, sending shockwaves through the park. Panic ensued as workers scrambled to locate the missing disc, fearing the wrath of the superstar if it was not found. Sally, we need to find that CD, Mr. Perry said, his voice tinged with urgency. The entire park is counting on us. With determination in her heart and a steely resolve in her eyes, Sally set out on a mission to find the missing CD. She combed through every inch of the park, searching high and low for any sign of the elusive disc. Along the way, she encountered a colorful cast of characters, from eccentric performers to wide-eyed children, each with their own story to tell. As the hours ticked by and the sun dipped below the horizon, Sally's hopes began to wane. It seemed as though the CD was lost forever, destined to remain hidden amongst the myriad attractions of Happy Hills. But just when all hope seemed lost, a breakthrough occurred. In a stroke of luck, Sally stumbled upon a clue that would lead her to the missing CD, hidden away in the most unlikely of places. With a sense of triumph coursing through her veins, she raced back to Mr. Perry, the missing CD in hand. We found it! Sally exclaimed, her voice ringing out with joy. The CD was hidden in Charlie Clown's costume all along. Mr. Perry's face broke into a wide grin as he accepted the CD from Sally's outstretched hand. Well done, Sally, he said, his voice filled with pride. You've saved the day. As the chaos of the day finally subsided and the park fell silent once more, Sally couldn't help but feel a sense of satisfaction wash over her. She had faced adversity head-on and emerged victorious, proving to herself and others that she was capable of more than she ever imagined. And as she watched the sun set over the horizon, casting a warm glow over the park she called home, Sally knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, she would always be ready to face them with a smile. For in the end, it was the moments of triumph and adversity that truly defined her journey, and she wouldn't have it any other way.